Yeah. As soon as they can analyze a little bit, they have to become hard, defensive, you know, and, all, and go to school and, and this hostile living. So your children now are not the innocent ones. That means that we as, especially conscious, but we're not talking about the masses, we as rational beings, we have to become the innocent ones. And what I mean by that is, literally, we have to become like children. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm going to get into this particular science, because this is the God Horus and the God Heru. And literally, we have to find whatever that innocence is. You see what I'm saying? Whereas we don't judge. That's one of the keys. We don't judge. You see? So over the last three, four, five years, I stopped judging gay people. Mm -hmm. I stopped judging uh, um, all different. I, you know that? I stopped judging the people that's what we call a quote-unquote quintessential asshole. <laughs> I stopped judging them because remember now, the most arrogant of us are the most uh, displaced and dis messed up disposition of us, if that's a word, is the most incomplete. So in so many words, you should, uh, you should feel sorry for people that's obnoxious. That's right. Who wants to be obnoxious? Uh, we are becoming super people and super humans, and this brother right here is coming in with the king is with the king is a, 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 a great example, Brother Jamal, Ashe. Right. Ashe. Ashe. We're going to get into that type of thing. Brother went through an ordeal, but then again, if you're on the frequency and if you are, uh, the brother was shot in the head. And if you are on the frequency, nothing can take you out, because that's the Superman. And it's ironic, this brother gives a living example of the actual information that I'm getting ready to give today. That's and right. it's interesting here because when this happened to what, right before Christmas, mm -hmm. we, we went to work. I got under the, I got under the, you can do magic, and there's a science to it. I got under the headphones, and I, and, and I, and I got under a real receiver. So there's magic and stuff because they, they're getting rid of a lot of stuff, and I got under them LPs because it can't be done no other way. It can't be done with the hologram with us, which is a CD. Now, you know what I'm saying, now unless you get you a real good equalizer, I'm going ahead of myself. But you can work magic. And as a result, I went into the spirit realm and I started healing Sister, and, and, and for, for a brief moment with the person that did a lot of the work with Sister Sonura. Because she was on the case, you see what I'm saying, uh, long after I did what I had to do daily. So with some things that actually happened, but then again, on the other hand, the brother's spirit, you see what I'm saying, is that's a God. Right. That's right. Get the movie Unbreakable and understand that although they had Bruce Willis as the white boy, remember he used the frail, frail face and weak bone as a lad to say. It was actually Samuel L. Jackson who was the actual Unbreakable. They just had the role reverse. But if you look at that movie, you will see Samuel L. Jackson sitting in front of some hieroglyphic stuff that looked like this. You go back and look at that movie. That meant they showed you who was the unbreakable one. You see some hieroglyphic stuff. And ironically, we're going to talk about this actual hieroglyphic uh, uh, thing today in this particular one. 